All right, we are recording. Early morning, World of Warcraft, classic Wrath of the Lich King. We are in Darkshire in Duskwood. One of my favorite areas ever. However, I think I've already made a video of me being in here back in the day when I was doing the Raven Hill Cemetery. I just like the whole vibe of it, right? And then the whole Twilight Grove, which I never really understood. I think it was one of the world dragons from back in the day. And then later on in WoW's life, you were able to, as a druid portal through there. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go and kick the shit out of a few worgen. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still the winter festival. And yeah, I've just been going through the motion of uh, using up my rested XP, which is coming to an end. The joyous journey, which is good until mid-January. But because I do YouTube, exercise, play guitar, I don't just sit and play WoW 10 hours a day. I will unlikely be that far by the end of Jan or by the end of the joyous journey in January. I think it's January 14th, because this thing ran for, will have run, rather, for a month. But I only came to know of its existence in the last couple of days. It's interesting to see the worgen uh, skin, if you literally I just skinned it. Uh, in the early beginning, because that's definitely not quite what they look like when you play one on retail. So if you can hear the... Actually, let me take a look. I usually have the sound on. Oh. Oh, it's because I was talking to an old friend of mine, and I wanted the music off. But the music the ambience, even like without the music, you can hear the, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the ambience. And then it always being, you know, kind of dark there. I mean, it's nighttime, but I'm saying like, it's always like, not foggy. It just has that eerie look to it and feel. I really like that. So yesterday, I had to do the one where I had to kill the Shadow Weavers. Now that seems to be all I can find. You little bastards. Yeah, so I'm still enjoying the Paladin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not too sure what I'm going to do for the future. Assuming I still keep playing. Do I just do the druid? Work on my balance offset? As I am predominantly feral. But there's always been something about the paladin that I've enjoyed. Oh, and the other thing that I enjoy about having these couple of characters here on a PvE server and not a PvP server. Is I've lost... The obsession, first of all, with having to be on a PvP server to feel that danger from enemy players. Because quite frankly, I just don't give a shit about that anymore. But it's also because I could care less to spend the time and the effort required to gear up to always be up to date. I just don't play this game that much, right? I'd be going out trying to help people, and I'd be getting my ass spanked. I don't want none of that. So by playing on a PvE server, it allows me to be a hardcore casual. I actually plan on having matching armor when I'm close to 80. Or not close to 80. When I am 80. 
even if it's not the strongest, because I just want to be able to roam around, like I've said a million times. Buff people. Res them. I actually just did the quest for redemption, as a matter of fact. You can do that at level 10. But because I don't play in a group setting, you can't self-resurrect yourself. I'm not a shaman. I was like, ah, fuck, whatever. Who cares about, you know, the paladin quest line? Just give me a second here. So that's why I was like, eh, maybe now we'll do it. And I kind of miss those, uh, little sort of quests, if you will. Ooh, Fenros. Looks like a badass. But he's not that bad. He, he's a schmuck. Hopefully the other one. Yeah, you just stay there and watch. Don't, don't join. No. No one invited you. The tribal helm. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I just got reminded. The thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of uh, why I never really kept up with the paladin <clears throat> is because for how I used to play in, <clears throat> my goodness, in PvP, paladins weren't the best for what I was looking for out of a character because they didn't quite perform the best compared to some other classes. And I didn't like that. In other words, I didn't want to accept defeat. If Paladin's one of my favorite ever characters, I shouldn't stop myself from playing it. But then, and I'm not saying they suck, but if they kind of do compare to another class that you play that you perform night and day better than, there's not going to be a lot of incentive to play that Paladin, right? I'm looking at you, Death Knight. And a few other classes. But I didn't want to play a Death Knight, even though I love him. I actually kind of prefer Paladin. It's a bit of a toss-up. But for what I want to do in WoW, the Death Knight is no good. I can't heal people, can't buff people. And I know that my Druid can do that. But it's just one of those things again where I want to feel like I can contribute a little bit. Plus, I just love the skills, the animation, and all that. <clears throat> the, uh, the Paladin. The Druid being my favorite. But because they're not that flashy in terms of because you're just like a cat. There's no glowing weapon, you know, like I got on my back and shit like that. <clears throat> That's why I decided to uh, to have that paladin to uh, to fill in that role. Like they're flashier than a warrior. Warriors, like the class I kind of hate the most. They're fun, but yeah, I'd rather just stay away from them. But that's also mainly because their consistency in PvP is complete garbage over the years. It's not like a mage. You know, like a typical frost mage or eh, even a hunter. Within reason, they're more reliable in terms of how consistent they've been over the years. Just having a drink while my character's having a drink. Turn in the juicy delivery. Yeah, and everything from even like the horse that you get, that little golden shimmer that comes off of the epic version. It's, uh, I just, I really like it. And I like playing Prot Paladin, even though they're not like as strong as a Blood Death Knight. It's uh, just so much fun. And, you know, the whole lore behind it, the whole Paladin thing, right? It's just 
To me, it's almost synonymous with World of Warcraft. It's one of those classes I feel like everybody should have at least one. See? I love that transition. You know, that when you're far into Duskwood. I'll show you even more what I mean. See those enemies that I was fighting? See earlier? 18. Those are so low. See in the sky there? I mean, I know it's nighttime, but... Watch what happens when you cross. I mean, the music and that ambience again really makes a big difference. But it is darker uh, in Duskwood. We're just having a harder time seeing that right now. <clears throat> but this is the safe side. Really? Trust me. I've explored Elwyn Forest probably more than anybody ever. <laughs> See? Just something like that. Now it sucks that my buffs are 10 minutes. My druid buffs are 30. However, I am not going to let that deter me from playing this. See? I know I'm all obsessed with, like, the whole transition and shit. It's just, I love it. When I was playing Guild Wars, and I have been for, oh man, since the dawn of time, I have to admit that's kind of cool where your character levels to the area. So, like, back where I was there just a moment ago with the Murlocs. If that was Guild Wars 2, your character would scale down to it, and you would be, like, above by a couple of levels. So it's always, like, a bit of a challenge. Sometimes I wonder if I would prefer that in WoW. Hey there, have a good one. But I think in retail, it does that now, where it scales to you. To a certain extent. It's not like infinite scaling, but... Yeah, this definitely gives me the whole Halloween vibe. I still haven't told you what I wanted to say earlier as well. Oh, I did a little bit about the whole paladin and how I like them, even though they may not perform the best. Another thing, too, is not just PvP, it's PvE. Like, my bear druid leveling up was an absolute psychopath, even if I was in cat form. I could just pull a bunch of mobs. You know, you never run out of mana for obvious reasons, because you're not using mana. And, uh, on the paladin, and I know I'm retribution there, I can't get high enough points into any talent tree to really make a big difference for prot. But it's slow. I gotta be careful. Like, I can't you know what I mean? Attack too many of these people, but what would end up happening... See? There's always people. Is if I pull too many people on my paladin that I would have been able to do on my druid, I end up, uh almost getting killed because a taking too much damage but look at my mana right see I love being able to you know do something like that I mean the wisdom might be a little bit better for him that's just Increasing your total stats. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. Just kind of do that sort of stuff. It's just... I don't know. It's nice. Thanks a lot. And then if you're in an area, I can keep rebuffing him for a while. 
But yeah, that 10 minute thing is fucking ridiculous. And I think the greater blessings, I think, are either 15 or 20 minutes, depending on, you know, which one it is. Oh. I don't know what he's... Oh, water. Nice. Very nice. I'll actually go ahead and, uh, and use that stuff. Especially the water. I mean, the food, I don't, you know, I don't need the food. But yeah, I can't pull as much because I would spam Moonfire on the Druid. I would, you know, do something like this here. And then I would just go to town on the Druid. And that made me level up quite fast with enemies that were around my level. These guys aren't really around my level. Like, I'm a good... Oh, there's more Ladim. I could probably beat his fucking ass now. See? They're tw... Oh my god, yeah, these guys are... They don't even give me XP. That's only because I'm really ahead in my guide. But, you know what they say. It's better to be ahead than behind. Especially in WoW for like levels and shit. Oh my god. Let's drink some of this water. Hopefully it tastes like spring water and not tap water. Actually, I don't know if Blessing of Wisdom would be better. What the fuck? They kind of just came out of nowhere. Kill 17 plague spreaders. Oh, I think they might be down below. Mm-hmm. We all know this cave. Oh, yeah. Plague. Yeah. Well, those are... Yeah, there's a few spreaders. It's kind of sad that... It's a little bit of a challenge to do this, and it shouldn't be. I think the exorcism really... 59 man... Yeah, the consecration really takes up a lot of mana. But... It's so good. I won't do it for just one. Screw you and your fucking diseases. Yeah, this cave brings back a lot of memories. There's been a lot of PvP on both sides. Whether I was Horde getting into some fights here. Or whether I was Alliance. Bone sure you can fucking stay up there. I was just gonna say 835 mana. Yeah, it's kind of the weaker, weaker one, but I won't complain too much. It's the thought that counts. So basically, how well I'm performing here is how I well I would be doing on my druid. <clears throat> so PvE, PvP, long buffs, etc. All leads to a, uh... Ooh. Shiny. <clears throat> Look at that. Eight strength, nine stamina. Wow. It's actually better leggings than what I got. But I mean, I'll outgrow them. Not literally, but in level too quickly. For it to be worth my while. Alright, let's pull a few... 
people here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you heard that sound, it sounded like the Shadow Priest's Mind Blast. And when I first came here, right there, I thought it was a, a horde priest that was attacking me. Because <clears throat> it's rare for the... Um, for the NPCs, if you will, to actually use that sound. Remember now we're looking for the spreaders, the ones that like to spread it. Pull a bit of a AOE thing. I can't wait to go prot, honestly. But I think that's something that doesn't effectively happen until much later. Paladin is actually, and and I say this, right? Like, it's one of the, I don't know if weird is the word I'm looking for, but it's not that great. In terms of leveling in the beginning, you don't get a lot of skills. So here, you don't get like your main crusader strike for quite a while. Things to really get into that rotation. Prot again, you know, to get that Hammer of Righteous and really get like a bunch of skills here. You can't really do much in the early beginning. So, yeah. I find it, it, it blooms much later before it gets like really, really good is what I'm saying. And Feral Druid, I mean, yeah, it could take a while before you even get cat form. Really. Nowadays, you get it right away, which, I mean, makes more sense. Man, this really is a creepy-ass place. But yeah, this is mainly, like, auto-attacking. You can see how much damage I take. I just feel like I didn't take that much damage on my druid. But yeah, prot is gonna be like a lot of fun. Lord Malathrom. Ah, here we go. Hell were those? Summoned a sloth. Oh, there you go. Oh, what to do? I am like half asleep. I slept okay, but not like the best. And I shoveled for over three hours yesterday. A couple of spurts of an uh, hour, hour and a half at a time. Might have been a little bit more than three hours. It's pretty brutal. And then when I hate because of the way my chair sits... Where I have to put my arms out, almost like in the zombie position there. With the mouse, it actually makes my hand tingle after a while. It's really frustrating. Very, very annoying. Yeah, I want to get out of this fucking cave. Let's see these spreaders. Come on, spread it! But yeah, I was kind of, not bored, but I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I want to record. Because I haven't been doing that much over the holidays. Just kind of been taking a mental break, right? Because a lot of people won't understand that World of Warcraft can be very mentally draining. 
It really can, especially when you try to rely on it for survival. To supplement with, you know, how you make money. Which is not something I make a lot of to begin with. I've been very, very candid with that. Oh, and these videos. I mean, they're the worst performing videos on my entire channel. But I enjoy it. So what do I do? I do it. It's like a smoker who knows it's bad to smoke, but loves it anyways and doesn't. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see. Enter the building. Oh, yeah, over there. What about over here? I might as well do it. It's right there. Actually, isn't there a quest that's like right here that I need to do? There's like a... Anyway, so a long time ago, I'd gotten into a really, really bad uh, car accident and it fucked up my shoulder and my rotator cuff. But even though I'm like really strong in terms of being able to do push-ups and lifting weights and all that, and I'm stronger than Owen as a teen before I was injured, good for me. That's not the point. I still get like a lot of pain. That's basically what, what I get. And what'll end up happening is if I push like a shopping cart, you know, like if you go do groceries or pushing a cart, you got your arms in that position. After a while, what can happen is, uh, you know, you get the, the standard tingling, you know, like when your hand or your arm goes, you know, asleep, I'm sure at some point, everybody's had that sensation. I have that right now, just playing a fucking game with a mouse and keyboard. So that's another reason why I don't like the whole mouse keyboard fucking thing. Is, uh, yeah, is that, is it's literally physically painful a little bit to play WoW. Well. But it's not always as bad. It's just kind of bad today. Because of all the shoveling, right? Like I probably strained myself. Now, if I had my table set up a little bit differently. Oh, this part's cool. When you come here, it gets really dark. See that? It's all like a purple haze. Jimi Hendrix song should be kicking in purple haze. Anyways. If I lowered the table, like if I had a different table, or I slid in my chair, it would be fine. But I don't want to do that because it's the perfect position so that I'm not too close to my desk when I play guitar, right? And I just don't want to be too close to the screen. What can I do for you? And then you could say, but take your screen and move it back then. Well, no, because my computer is behind my screen. It's the way my computer setup is, right? Ah, uh, okay, there we go. When a quest reward is apparently better than what you got off the AH, you know, something's up. <clears throat> Done drinking my veggie greens. All right. I'll Be accept careful. it for now. I'm not sure... If, it, if the guide calls for you to do it. Oh, Morbid Fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that dingus that's in here. I was thinking of the one where you summon, uh, you know, near that Abercrombie and Fitch uh, NPC there. Yeah, that's that guy that's upstairs. This can be... A little bit difficult. Gotta reapply my buffs here. But yeah, it's amazing, eh? How I just... What the hell was that? How I never tire of this shit. Just roaming around... And that's when I'm, I'm going to be at peace with WoW, is when I'm geared. Not fully geared. Not necessarily good gear. Just matching good-looking gear. Not like this guy. And I just roam around and do nothing. 
No, no, no. Hide here. No. Oh, shit. That's right. There is an item. Fuck around, Charlie Brown. I'm gonna fucking die. What the fuck? Really? So I, I botched it. You're supposed to equip it. I might actually die. Huh. Removes the protective enchantment around Morbid Fell. Three minute cooldown. Well, you know what? It might actually be a part of the quest, so I may have to do it. Except... I can't. That's fucking dumb. That makes no sense. Maybe that's why the guide doesn't ask you to do it. Because it's kind of stupid. I don't remember it being like that. What the fuck is this? Well, at least I know he can't kick my ass. There we go. Yeah, that was... There we go. I would have done it to show off. Uh, but the thing is... There are some quests where if you don't use the item, even if you kill them... You don't get the... Uh, the credit for it. Might as well turn this in. Can't wait to be 40 soon. That's going to make a big difference. Not only am I going to get the epic mount, but because I'm ret. Ret. 15% movement speed, mounted movement speed. It's pretty significant. Greetings. Yeah, that guy definitely doesn't need mana regeneration. But the blessings of King. See? I mean, that won't do much for him. Damn straight. Damn straight. Yeah, technically it's a lower, but it's because of the strength. It's got a bit more strength. Uh... Oh, it clips through his beard. No, that one's no good. That one's... I mean, I might as well just grab it. Bless you. No, don't ask me to wear it. Do not. Yeah, we're sort of, kind of, not really. Nearing the end of that area. Actually, Duskwood. Duskwood. Leveling. Where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. We are here. See? For yeah, we were here from 25 to 27, went to Red Ridge, went to Wetlands, now we're back here again from 30 to 31. We're 62% of the way through. Ooh. After Duskwood, we're gonna be going to Stranglethorn Vale, which is just south of us. I haven't been there yet at all on this character, that is. And then the hills, Brad Foothills, I haven't touched yet. However, I do have my flight path to South Shore from a long time ago. And then we're going to be doing around the Highlands. Yeah, yeah. Dust Swallow Marsh, Thousand Needles. Oh, yeah. Dust Swallow Marsh again. Okay, that's cool. I kind of just wanted to look, even though I've done this a thousand fucking times. And you know what? Because I worked really hard, I might treat myself to a sausage and egg McMuffin. From McDonald's. I mean, where else can you get a sausage and egg Mick muffin? You can get an English muffin from Tim Hortons. You don't want that sloppy ass fucking shit. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna end it here. The tingling in my arm's gone. That's good. I say it's upstairs.
Got the best deals anywhere. Do you? Do you really, though? I don't really think you do. Battle Forge is a nice set. I think that's what I'm wearing on my gloves, yeah. It's a nice set. I might try to get the full set someday. Let's get rid of this shit. These I send to my alts. I might try to sell that along with some of these because a friend of mine ran me through the Scarlet Monastery. And I even got my key to prove it. I got the Scarlet key. Not that that's impressive at my level, but... Yeah, so there's really not much to see here. I don't think I can ever wear a staff, so I might as well sell the Illusionary Rod even though it looks cool. Don't care about that. Don't care about the cheese. The fromage. That's leather. Anyways, you can see that this is not really all that exciting. But I do have this for level 39. More Reigns Might. I got that from there. That's no good. That's good. So that'll be cool for later. The whole, like, you know, Scarlet fucking set. I got the belt. I got the belt. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways. Yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. I might record again later. Definitely with a game like World of Warcraft. As much as I love recording. I like some me time. Some alone time. I don't always want to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to, like, for this year coming up, do uh, sort of like a weird change to my channel, which is really not a change. It's actually being able to just enjoy myself, which is not something I always get to do. Because there are times where I just want to be able to uh, play a game and not record. There's something rewarding about that, too, especially when you know... With all due respect, that you're not going to be pulling in 30, 40, 50,000 views like Rich from Review Tech USA does every time he posts a fucking video. I know that I'm going to get at best 20 fucking views, 25 views on a YouTube uh, World of Warcraft video or any of my main videos, really, that I upload. So it's like, it's not really much motivation for me to, to really do it. So the fact that I've been sticking to it for so long all these years is almost uh, nothing short of a miracle, really, when you think about it. But again, it's fun. So, but I want to do a little bit more gaming news, quick videos that are only a couple of you little motherfucker that are only a couple of minutes long. Uh, still do first impression videos and all that kind of stuff. And then when it comes to you know your wows, I've talked about this a million times before, and your American Truck Simulators or you know wrestling because you know I upload a lot of videos on that all the time. Uh, I do want to get a little bit more into those consistently, but not necessarily, like, too much all the time. So, like, right now I'm on the WoW kick again while we have the joyous journey. But I don't want to be pumping out two, three, half-hour videos of WoW a day. I feel like that's too much. So if I'm going to post another gameplay video today, maybe it'd be American Truck Simulator. But even at that point, I find that's too much clutter. A lot of gaming news is okay because that's relevant information. This doesn't serve any fucking purpose other than just entertainment, but I don't think anybody's entertained. <laughs> so, less of doing this too much, but being more consistent with it. And I said that in my other video. So, like, Monday, you know, consistently... You know, World of Warcraft, even if I did it a couple times a week, it's not bad. Definitely not multiple times in a day. And then today, if I end up playing like uh, American Truck Simulator for an hour, because there's nothing that I'm teaching you, there's no game update, there's nothing that's time sensitive, right? It doesn't matter if I upload it today, tomorrow, next week. So I may record it today, but I won't post it until tomorrow to kind of, you know, spread it out. And then tomorrow I'll be like, cool, I've already got my gameplay video out. Now I'm going to play the rest of the day a game and I'm just not going to tell you about it. I'm not going to record it. Right? So 
that to me is fun. So with that said, as always, if you made it this far, book an appointment with your psychiatrist in the morning. Uh, you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as it does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. If you liked it, you didn't like it, and you made it this far, fuck, I don't care. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll bend it in half and twist it. Break it off in your ass, and I'll feed it to one of those weird ogre things. And if you want to subscribe, I mean naturally, that would be great. Naturally. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways, take care. And maybe... I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.